In this video walkthrough lesson, we'll take a look at order of operations and a word problem written as an expression with parentheses, brackets, and braces. And this is standard 50A A1 and 50A A2. We'll be looking at this worksheet. You can go to worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com to print out a copy for yourself. You'll find it under our order of operations video walkthrough section, and it's entitled a word problem written as an expression with parentheses, brackets, and braces. Directions. Evaluate the following expression using order of operations. And you'll see we have this expression written for you. And it's taken from this word problem. So let's take a look at the word problem. Andrew invented lawn mowing, snow throwing robots. He made the first two then he produced three less than seven times that amount. A factory fabricated two elevated to the eighth power robots of which he gave 12 to charity. Of the total remaining robots, Andrew kept four as display models and sold the rest. How many robots did he sell? And right off the bat, you might be thinking, hey, that's where my math job is. And if you were thinking that your math job is in the question, you're exactly right. So in order to solve this problem, or the actual job, math job in this problem, is to find out how many robots did Andrew sell. Now let's take a look at how these clues within the problem relate to order of operations. Now really, when you have a multi-step problem, in this case it's a word problem, every multi-step problem is actually an order of operations problem. And this one happens to have parentheses, brackets, braces, a number of operations, and even an exponent. So now, how did we come up with this expression? Well, you can take all of these words in this wordy word problem and really simplify it by using numbers and operation symbols and parentheses, brackets, and braces. First of all, we know that Andrew invented lawn mowing snow throwing robots, and he made at first two of them and you can see that right there two robots is what he made first then he produced three less than seven times that amount so we're thinking three less than seven times that amount the original amount original amount was two so let's see how that relates so far to this problem Originally, he made two robots. Then, he made seven times that original amount, minus three. So that was three less than seven times of this original amount. A factory fabricated two elevated, or two to the eighth power, robots, of which he gave 12 to charity. So, the factory made two to the eighth power robots, and he gave 12 to charity. There we go. So if you look down in the expression, there it is. It's represented right here within these parentheses. We've got 2 elevated to 8th power, which is the number that the factory fabricated. And he gave 12 of those to charity, so we subtracted 12 from that amount that was produced by the factory. Of the total robot remaining robots, it's kind of a tongue twister here, of the total remaining robots, Andrew kept four. So he's keeping four as display models. And then he sold the rest. And that was the total remaining. So we're talking about all together from the very beginning through the factory production. Minus the 12 that he gave to charity. So of the total remaining robots, he kept four as display models. And you can see that represented right here as negative four or minus four. So now we need to solve this expression. So immediately, if you're looking at evaluating an expression, you're really changing that into an equation. So now we're going to set it equal to a certain value. But what value? Well, 
you really need to use the order of operations for this. You want to list the steps for the order of operations over on the side. We've got please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. And these really represent or stand for parentheses. So we have parentheses, brackets, and braces at the top level of order of operations. And these are really decided um, if there's any question, we want to do these in the order of inside to out. Because we have all of these in this particular expression. And then in the next level of order of operations, we have exponents followed by multiplication and division. And those are both on the same level as well as addition and subtraction, which are on the lowest level of order of operations. And if, if there are any ties at any level, you really use left to right to rule any ties at any level. Let's see what we have over here. We have right off the bat, we have parentheses. So I'm going to take a look at those. And if you look and scan through this problem, you can see parentheses right here, it's right there. So we do indeed have parentheses. But we want to solve what is inside these parentheses first. So we're looking at the centermost portion of this expression. So you take a look at these inside these parentheses, you have 2 to the 8th power minus 12. Well, let's figure out what 2 to the 8th power would be. So we'll take a look at writing. two to the eighth power. That really means two eight times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And with multiplication symbols in between each of these. So we wrote it eight times because we are elevating it to the eighth power. Then we multiply these. We have two times two is four. Four times two is eight. 8 times 2 is 16, so let's take these, all of these, and they equal 16. And we'll kind of try to solve an easier problem here. We have 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and 8 times 2 is 16. So we have 16 times 16. Now we can set up a lattice grid. If you need more information on how to do the lattice method or you're just curious about how to do it, you can go to worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com. We have a video and worksheets to go along with the lattice method. Check that out. It's there for you if you need it. So now we have to multiply. 1 times 6 would be 6. Actually, let me use a different color so it stands out. 1 times 6 was, would be 6. 1 times 1 would be 1. 6 times 6 is 36. 6 times 1 is 6. So now we add diagonally. 6 plus nothing would be 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. 12 plus 3 would be 15. Plus 1. We'll carry that 1 up there. 1 plus 1 is 2. And we have 0 here. So 2 to the 8th power is equal to 256 and now we've got 256 minus 12 in these parentheses and we're going to rewrite everything we have around it it might take some time but it's a good idea to kind of keep track of what you have left in the problem I'm kind of working backwards here just bump this over a little bit. If I'm moving too fast for you, feel free to pause the video and resume whenever you're ready. And on the outside, we have the braces there. And let's see what we have after this parentheses. Okay, we've got another bracket. Brace, subtract four. 
All right, so 256 minus 12, not sure what that is. It's always a good idea to show your work, so let's do that. We've got, I'll show our work right over here. 256, 256 minus 12, 6 minus 2 is 4, 5 minus 1 is 4, 244. All right, so now we're working with 244. Uh, we really can get rid of the parentheses now that we've solved. Uh, every operation or every step within those parentheses. So we can rewrite the rest. All right, now we've taken care of those parentheses. Now what do we have left on? In the order of operation steps, we have bra brackets. Let's solve what, what's in these brackets. And you notice that we have multiple operations within here, so we have to refer to our steps. I have multiplication, subtraction, addition. And take a look at this. Multiplication comes first in the order of operations. So we have our multiplication here. We'll take care of this 7 times 2 first. 7 times 2 would be... 14, so this would be 14, 14 minus 3 plus 244 minus 4. That'd be plus 2 on the outside. And now we can continue to solve. Well, we've got subtraction and addition left and look at that addition and subtraction are left there these are both on the same level so left to right rule so which comes first left to right would be subtraction so we'll subtract that 14 minus 3 you're probably thinking oh, I know that which would be 11 if you knew that good for you then we'll add the 244 to that 244 plus 11 Okay, that would be in the, so we'll continue, I'll we'll write our brackets here. Then we have our braces on the outside, minus 4, plus 2 to the left, all right, now we're back, had a little technical issue there, so now let's Take a look at what we have left. We have these brackets, and we are solving what's inside of here. We have 244 plus 11, and we should show our work on that. It's always a good idea to show your work. It kind of proves you know what you're doing. So now we've got 244 plus 11. I have to find some workspace here. So we've got 244 plus 11. 4 plus 1 is 5. 4 plus 1 is 5 again. 2. So we've got 255. So now that we've solved what's in the braces, we can remove those. And now we have plus sign, 2, opening braces, and closing braces on the other side, minus 4. 255 plus 2, you're probably thinking that would be 257. Good for you. Minus 4. So we've solved everything in here, got rid of those braces, and we have one step left. 257 minus 4 would be 253. And let's apply that answer to the problem. How many robots did he sell? Well. Andrew Andrew sold 253 robots. Whoops. 253 
robots. And there you have it. That was a quick look at order of operations, a word problem written as an expression with parentheses, brackets, and braces. Thanks for checking out worksheetsandwalkthroughs.com. We'll see you again next time. Thank you.